earlier this week, 49ers cornerback Richard Sherman telling it like it is as it comes to Jerry Jones. It's not pulling them like it is the rest of the country, he said in reference to owners, because if it was, then they'd speak. Jerry Jones especially has no problem speaking up any other time about anything else but when it's such a serious issue, and he could really make a huge impact on it with just a few words. His silence speaks volumes. Clarence Hill, who uh, is Shireen's former colleague at the Fort Worth Star-Telegram, wrote a column about it. A lot of people are talking about it. A lot of people are wondering about it. And Shireen, you've been around Jerry Jones enough to know he is not at a loss for words on anything. On this topic, he is. And the longer it goes without him saying anything, it's, it's just hard not to wonder what's really going on here. And for me, I think it's simple. He doesn't want to, to say anything that would further exacerbate the problem that is looming now between the president and the NFL, because I think Jones was part of the effort to broker a ceasefire a couple of years ago, but that's all out the window now. And I really do think that it's time for all owners to, to talk. And if you have a history of talking, it becomes even more incumbent that you do. And it becomes even more conspicuous when you don't. Yeah. It, he, <laughs> Jerry has never been a loss for words. I, I think I can count. I covered the Cowboys for 17 years and, you know, I think I can count probably on two hands the number of times after games that he didn't talk. He always talks. Uh, and the unfortunate part of, of not being able to go out to the facility over these last three months has been not being able to get Jerry Jones because you know when you get him cornered, uh, he, he's going to talk and he's going to say a lot. And, and he hasn't even done his radio show now in several weeks. So he has been silence and unusually silence. And, and it's been curious about why he is so quiet. And I'm sure it's all these issues, but the Cowboys have not released a statement. Jerry hasn't talked. Um, and, I, and I do think it's time for him. It's past time. I mean, let, let's just put it there. He should have done this uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, whatever it was uh, to put out a statement and say something. And he hasn't done that. So yes, I. Richard Sherman's right. His silence does speak volumes, and, and it's going to get to a point where he's going to have to come out and say something, and I think the pressure is building on him having to do that, and, and it, it's time. It's time for him to talk. He's never been silent on anything. Jerry, step up and, and say something, and, and hopefully it's the right thing that, that his stance on the national anthem has changed. You know, and here's the reality. It applies in this context and any other context where – the window is open to say something or do something. If you don't take advantage of it when the window's open, it becomes harder to do it. It becomes more awkward when you finally do it because now you're not just dealing with the issue itself. You're dealing with why it took you so long to deal with the issue. And it's only going to get worse the longer that he waits. He's not going to be able to kick this can all the way until week one of the regular season. And it's not like anybody's going to be there to ask him questions, quite possibly. Then he's got to do something sooner than later. My advice to him would be do something now, because with each passing minute, it is going to be harder. It is going to be more awkward, more strange when you finally do it. And you're going to have to address why you've been silent all of this time. And uh, and and again, he's he's just one of the many owners who have – avoided some of the more delicate issues here. And that's what they pay the commissioner to do in theory, to be the one who is the pincushion for these difficult issues. But this is the moment where all of those old rules go out the window. And there has to be a human moment, not a PR designed moment. I think that's part of the problem here. The, 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 the PR advice that would guide you through a normal crisis, that doesn't work here. This is a moment to be a human being, not a calculated strategic business executive who's saying the right thing at the right time and striking the right tone in order to get the right response from the right people. It's about being a human and opening your heart and your soul and letting those feelings guide you. And I, I don't know that I, look, I don't know. I'd, I'd like to be a billionaire to find out if billionaires are capable of doing that. Sometimes I wonder if they're too detached from everyone else to really do that. Mike, let's let's go back to last Friday. President Trump made Drew Brees take a stand. He had to make a choice. He had to choose between really between his job and in and, and the national anthem, and and he chose 
uh, what he chose and he spoke out against President Trump. Jerry Jones and President Trump are tight. We know that. They talk all the time. We know that. Jerry is backed into a corner now. And whether it's today or Monday or two weeks from now or a month from now or however long it is, at some point, Jerry Jones is going to have to make a choice. His players or President Trump, he's gonna have to take a side. There's no question about that. It's gotta be done. There, he's not gonna be left with a choice and he's gonna have to make that choice. And I'm guessing he's gonna side with his players. It's, it's a guess, but he, to me, he has to side with his players uh, in this fight uh, and, and tick off Trump, which is what he's going to do. But I, I think that's what has to be done. And I don't see any middle ground. He found the middle ground a couple years ago. When we were talking about the national anthem. Remember that I think it was a Monday night game with the Cardinals and they all took a knee together before the game. And that was, you know, the way they worked that out. There is no solution that I see in this. He's going to have to make a choice here. And it's not just choosing between the president and the Cowboys players. It's the president along with his supporters, his base, the people who may make good on that threat that I'm not going to follow the Cowboys anymore. And I would just say this to Jerry. Look, they're still following the team, even though you haven't been to an NFC championship game since 1995. They, they, they have suffered through far worse than this moment when it comes to shaking their faith in whether or not they want to continue to be Cowboys fans. I mean, let's be real about it. There's still the Cowboys are. St I, I asked Stephen Jones about this a few weeks ago. How in the world are you still America's team when you haven't been in the NFC championship game in 25 years? So that's part of, I think, what Jerry is concerned about because he knows that the president will keep pressing that button if this fight continues and that there will be people who are pressing that button right along with him. But they need to not worry about it. They need to not care about it. They need to not cower to the threat to huff and puff because at the end of the day, they're not blowing the house down. All right. The players have been speaking out on these issues more than ever before prominent players speaking out that makes the owner's silence even more jarring. hi i'm mike tarico and thanks for watching make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from nbc sports